Hello, my name is Spy and welcome to Life in a Bunker. Now the developers were kind enough to give me a key to feature this on my channel and we're actually going to do that today. And I believe this game was released a couple days ago, I think on February 25th. Uh, so we're going to test it out. Now if you don't know what this game is about, it is quite similar to... A bunch of other games, I guess it's kind of similar to Prison Architect and Android or iPhone version of Fallout Shelters. Then it is quite similar to that. We're going to begin. Now you get this little menu here, you get to choose what you want. We're going to just pick, yeah we're going to pick a large world. And then you got these settings here. I'm not going to touch those, I'm going to keep those on normal. We're going to turn it off uh, tutorial because I already played a little bit, I already played the tutorial. And to say the least. A lot of people died. Okay, so here we are in our little tiny shelter. As you can see, we got these little tiny people running around. Now I'm gonna pause it so I can give you a brief overview of what this is. So as you can tell, this is our entrance. And as you can see here, there's a big meter that says pollution. Now, we can't leave the bunker. I don't know what happens when we leave the bunker. I'm guessing that is the end game. But to leave the bunker, you have to get the 50 cycles, which up here at the top left, there's a clock that tells you how many cycles you have. And then over here, it explains that 50 cycles is actually 500 years. So 10 cycles is 100 years, one cycle is 10 years. So what we gotta do is we have to raise our new citizens in this incubator. I guess they're genetically modified or test tube babies, really. <laughs> Born in a test tube. Don't know who is the father, really. I don't know if there is a father. Awkward. There is no um, interaction between citizens that I know of, if you know what I mean. So we gotta do that in this incubator. Awkward. And the incubator can provide us with set professions so that we can get a better, better result of what we need. Now, what we gotta really do is we kinda got to build a room over here for our citizens we're gonna build a little bedroom here now i don't know how big it needs to be so i'm just gonna build it while we go can't build there because there are i think those are actually empty spaces we'll check so i'm gonna make a entrance right here i don't know if i need doors i don't think we do so we're gonna start it and they're gonna briefly build here so we don't have any workers we need to go over here into the um, residence menu the bunker stats we need to add some workers. We're going to add a bunch and we need some janitors. Janitors and we also have engineers. We're going to do the rest on what we can actually use. So there we go. They're building away and they're going to clear out this room for us. We might as well extend a little more than that because beds take up two spots. So this room is the right size. I just sped it up really quickly. There we go. And I don't know why they can't break that middle piece there. There we go. And now we actually have to lay the floor for our room. I'm going to use a blue for residential based spots. Oh no, we have an earthquake. What earthquakes does is it causes little tiny debris here. And we can't get past it unless our janitors clean it up. And there will be... If we don't add floors to the ground here, there will be little tiny mole people who will try to kill our citizens. So I'm just going to continue laying the floor and get this room set up really quick. I'll show you how that works. Alright, so our room is almost done. They're just finishing this last tile here. And now we have to add our beds. So we can add a... Regular single bed. I don't have the bunk beds yet. I kind of um, overshot this room, but that's fine. We can add some extra beds in there later. There we go. I don't know how many beds we actually need because I think they share. I'm not quite sure though. There we go. There should be enough beds for now. I think... Yeah, they, they just share beds, I believe. What we actually need to do now is we actually need to... I'm not quite sure. I haven't played too much of it, but I'm just assuming we need to set up our mining machines and our refineries. And we need to look for those ores. There's an ore there. I don't know if there's any more around. There's one right there. Okay, that one will be a lot easier to use. 
we need to do is we need to clear an area out to get there. I'm going to just do that on the side here. Yeah, I'll use this here because then we can actually use that spot right there for our industrial spot. There we go. Oh no, earthquake. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the earthquakes actually damage people. I don't think they kill anyone. They just, they're just annoying. Okay, here we go. Gonna add a mining machine. All right, there's our mining machine. So now that we have a mining machine, we have to make a refinery. So we're gonna clear out another little room here. But here we go. They're gonna mine this out and we're gonna use that little area for our industrial. Okay, so now that they have that done, nearly. Oh, they just killed a mole man. So we missed that, but mole men are, like I said, they're things that come out and try to kill your civilians. So we're gonna add a little wall here. I don't think they need access. Actually, yeah, they do need access because things break. We're gonna make a little doorway here. I'm gonna clear this out a little more. There we go. And then we gotta add the floors and stuff and then the refinery. I'm gonna use red for my non uh, civilian based stuff. There we go, you have a door here. They're just gonna build it up and we're gonna place down our refinery now. Another earthquake, holy crap. There we go. Refinery actually needs to be, be built on concrete. We're just gonna destroy this here and build down our refinery. Okay, so they built my conquer here. Now we're gonna add the refinery. And then we also, I think we actually have enough storage here to hold our materials that we need. We're just gonna wait for this to be built. Oh, look, there's a mole man there. Yep. Okay. So now as you can see here, the mole men actually dig holes that just hold me. So there's a mole man hole there, and the janitors will actually clean that up for us so that no more mole men spawn. Which is actually really useful because mole men are quite dangerous, actually. So as you can see here, the things here are blinking. What we need to do is we need to go into the electrical showcase and then we need to build a power cable all the way to our conduits there and then they'll just shortly build that there we actually also need one for the door all right there we go now we're producing some building materials which is quite helpful and i believe we're also producing or mining ore which goes to this machine here and which goes to our storage. Now that we have the building materials getting produced, we actually need to build a room for our bathrooms and such. But I'm actually not gonna do that yet because we don't have many citizens. So I'm just gonna temporarily build a bathroom and shower stall in these rooms here. Now I don't know if they need to be able to get into the garbage there. Maybe, I think they do. So I'm just gonna put a bathroom on the other side there there we go we got to provide water to those as well so we're gonna go into here water cable water pipe there we go now it should be connected once it's built awesome there we go now we have functional bathrooms and showers. All right, now that we have all of that going and built, we actually need a kitchen. Why is there a person right there? <laughs> I don't know, but there's poop on the ground. That's garbage. It's actually poop. But here we go. We got to get her out. I'm going to build a room here for the kitchen. All right, I think that's a big enough room for a kitchen. She should be helping herself out now. And then she can transport that garbage to the garbage bin because she made it. <laughs> oh, someone else cleans it up. 
Oh, whatever. He's a janitor. That's his job. Kind of missed a spot here. Warden, our residents are starving. You should draw your attention to this before it's too late. Oh, crap. How are we starving? Oh, because we don't have a kitchen. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm building the kitchen. We can actually probably do that right now. I think a kitchen only requires it to be on regular... Regular um, tiles. Yeah, we could just put it right there. I'm going to put it like that. Like how a normal kitchen is built. And then there. We got to provide our pipes. Alright, since that's being built, we actually need a chef now. So I think we have a spare chef somewhere in here. We can do that. And then we have a chef. Or a cook. So now that our people should be getting fed... And we can actually finish building our canteen or our cafe properly. Now they should be eating and stuff like that. Hopefully. Oh, okay, what's this little uh, heart thing up here? Hangu Burns furatively ate five portions of food. He has severe indigestion. Why? Why would you eat that much food? Did he just puke on the floor? He did. He puked on the floor. <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta share the food. So what is this? The residents are starving. We're cooking up food. Cooking up food, don't worry. Okay, our kitchen is actually finished. And we can go on to the next project. So over here, we have these mole men that keep digging holes in here. So I actually need to build some tiles so that our guys don't keep going out there to die. I think that will work for now. I'm not sure what else we actually need to build, so let's just check the menu and see what we can build. I think we should start getting on to vegetable farming, because our food is actually starting to go down. I don't know if we should put it in a temporary spot or not. Okay, look, there's food on the table and the people will go out to eat. So maybe we actually need more tables. Maybe that's our problem. I'm going to put another table there and see how that works. What was that squeaking noise? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we're going to build a little area for our garden. Now, I don't know where we should really put it. So I'm just going to clear out a little room here. All right, so I made this little tiny setup here. Hopefully this is enough for our garden. Now, are, is everyone actually eating now? I don't know. Hopefully. Okay, while they're building that, we actually need to set down some metal floors for our garden. I'm just going to do that. We're going to put some metal floors down. I don't know how big it needs to be. But we can try just doing... Uh, that. Hopefully that is enough. I don't know if we need more than one garden for now. We, we could try that. There we go. So that is enough. Maybe I put a little too much, but it doesn't really matter. Yo. Put some floors down so the mole people don't kill my people. Okay, so there we go. We got our little uh, garden room set up. And what we're going to actually do is we're going to actually kind of set up the power and the water to it. I think it needs both. Yeah, it needs both. We're going to throw in a power cable. I don't know if it can go through walls, can it? Okay, so it turns out we can't go through the walls. Unless it's only really one space. we got to go all the way through here. And we also got to do that with the water pipe. I don't know how much it's going to cost us, but we should be able to manage. There we go. And it turns out our waste bins over here are actually full. So we need to build another one. So we got to go into here somewhere. There we go. We got a waste container right here. We're just going to throw it in here for now. I don't know if it's really safe to really throw your waste container in with the same room as your incubator. I don't know, but who knows? So we got to actually build more children or our people will get too old and we won't have any generations to build. Okay, now that they're building that, we can actually 
throw in a farmer for the vegetable patch. There we go. We only really need one, I think. But who knows? So what's this? Isa furtively ate five portions of food. Again? Why? Why do you guys keep eating my food? Wait, the residents have been suffering from diseases for a long time. I've never know knew this. Is that why they're all puking? Oh god. We need to build... We need to build an infirmary. Alright, we're just going to throw the infirmary right here. Because we don't have the space or the time to really build um, another room for them. So how's our water pumps doing? Water's alright, I guess. Oh crap, so many diseases. We need to build this quick. And we need to assign a scientist or a doctor. I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. So now we just need to assign a scientist. There we go. Hopefully everyone gets checked into that. There we go. There we go. They're getting healed. That's good. That's good. All right. So if you guys have any suggestions for what you want me to build in this series, let me know in the comments. And that's all I currently have for today. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And I will see you guys next episode. Stay sweet. Bye.